All right, guys, so you're looking to get better at TNT run uh, on Hypixel, and there are definitely some strategies that you can use. Uh, I highly recommend using speed potions uh, to help you be able to jump a little farther, um, and you can also use your slowness potions to slow down other players, and especially when, uh, like, early in the game, um, you, you can use them much more effectively, but I would technically, you know, I would save them towards the end to really throw off your opponents, especially the ones who make it to the end. You know, they're, they're going to be pretty good at the game. So I highly recommend saving your, your slowness potions and using your speed potions sparingly. Um, it's important to understand that uh, when you are playing this game, uh, it is a marathon, not a sprint. So you have to really think about, like, okay, obviously you want to stay at the higher levels as long as you can because you have to use your feather jumps to get back up to other levels. So, um, like right now, I'm just not really concerned about much. I'm just literally running around uh, like I would in a regular Minecraft world. I mean, there are plenty of blocks for me. Now, it is important to, you know, still have a game plan. Like, would I want to go up to that top level again? Probably not. However, there are still a lot of blocks left so that's good to keep in mind for when the game gets really late um, but for now we are just chilling we are literally just uh, you know easily able to stay alive right now so that's what we're doing and uh, obviously there's gonna be some good players in this game the more players that are alive the more blocks are being consumed uh, more quickly so uh, obviously the bottom layer is getting more shredded this layer is getting more shredded and uh, there's still eight people left, and, you know, there's still quite a few blocks to be destroyed. So now it's starting to get, uh, you know, slim pickings over here. So we got to really start thinking about our next move. So we're going to try to stay on this layer as much as we can. And now we're just going to jump down. There's still plenty of blocks down here. We're going to do a slowness potion. Oh, okay. See, that, that's, that was a waste of a potion, obviously. But we're going to try to get uh, a speed potion here active. And then, boom. We just messed that guy's entire plan up. Now, we also messed my plan up, too. That's the one thing with the slowness potions. If you throw them, try not to splash yourself. But if you don't throw them, then you don't, you don't have an opportunity to change the game dynamic. There's four players alive now. And uh, we're obviously at a disadvantage here um, with, with slowness. But what we can do is try to get this guy slowed down. And that's what we're going to try to do because we're going to try to change the game complexity for this man. And uh, we can get a two for one here. Boom. I think I got one of them. Not sure, though. We shall see. But we have one speed potion left. We're all on the bottom layer. We're all taking up a ton of blocks. And uh, at this point in the game, I don't have any more useful potions except for one speed. So we're just going to go ahead and use up uh, the one speed after my, my timer runs out. Obviously, I don't want to splash three speed potions consecutively. That would not be the best idea ever. But, um, yeah, people are also thinking about, you know, what's their next move after all these blocks run out. And, uh, you know, that's definitely something I'm thinking about. So, yeah, like we're getting down to slim pickings again. Boom, 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 boom. And now we got to go. We got to go up. We had to go up there because we had no other option. We really had no other option. I just messed up because I have slowness. Boom, boom. Yep. See, slowness is really, really tough, really tricky, really important. If you don't have to have it, that you don't, that you don't have it. Yeah, I did not really think about that next move very well, but we're still alive somehow. Boom. Boom. Oh boy, we have one jump left. Not ideal. This is it, boys. This is it. For me, at least. We, we did well, but there's some good players in this game. So, obviously, like, these guys are really good. I probably used too many jumps too quickly. Um, these guys know what they're doing, obviously. And uh, we're just going to hop into another game. And I'm going to keep giving you guys some tips as I play one more game here. Maybe two more games, depending on how this goes. But take all those tips into consideration with the potion usage. Um, the slowness kind of did hurt us there. 
So you really have to, you know, practice with your potions there. Um, in order to practice for this game, it's all about, you know, just playing. You you will get better as you play this game. Um, and plus, you'll get more, more uh, coins to get more, um, you know, jumps, more potions, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's, that's something to keep in mind. If you want to speed up the game, don't jump because that will consume more blocks. If you do want to make the game last... Um, Oh, wow. I just, wow, that was a rookie move there. Uh, this is actually good, though, because even though I fell, it's still so early in the game. So I can create a big trap, a big hole in the center. This is what I like to do to keep myself occupied sometimes. Uh, I like to literally just carve out a big hole in the center um, just to make it you know harder for the people above me to really have a solid level to work with here. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're just carving out a big center gap. And it's, it's also fun. It keeps me occupied. It keeps my brain moving. So that's what we're up to. And um, yeah, that's how we're rolling. Now, obviously, since I cut out this big portion, it makes it harder for myself to run as well. But that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We just took up a big portion of this layer making it really, really difficult. And the people above me should start to be falling here soon. And they're not really going to have another layer, um, you know, beyond this because we've cut out such a big portion um, that they're going to fall right to the lower layer. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go up here because there is not much happening um, up here. And I think this is my best bet using four jumps to get up here, worth it, in my opinion. Definitely worth it. We're not, uh, you know, we're not yielded to the void right now. We are simply moving and grooving up top while everybody else is down below worried. Oh, that was really, really risky. Uh, see, on this map, I know that the potions don't really matter too, too much now. Like, I'm not going to try to slow anybody down. Um, that was really bad. Mm. Nope, that's also really bad. Boom. Boom. Wasting a ton of jumps here. Trying to get some more ground. We have two jumps left. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now, this is crunch time. I know this is definitely crunch time. I don't really have many places to go. Really tough scene. Throw the potions. And, yeah, we tried our best. We came in third once again. Let's play one more. See how we do. <clears throat> but, really, it's all about, like, right now, you know, use that speed. Um, like, this map is huge. This map, you know, you, you could run for, for days. And I'm actually going to intentionally drop here because I want to just create a big hole. I, I really do. Um, because I don't want people running on this map for ages. So I'm going to create a big hole in the center. It's going to be great. And, um, yeah, it's going to be hype. This map will take maybe five minutes to complete because of how big it is. So we're simply going to just have fun with it. And that's the, that's the most important thing. If you're playing this game, you just want to have fun. You know, you're probably not playing this game to compete uh, too, too much. Obviously, you want to win, and that's great. Um, at the same time, you want to have a good time while you're playing. Get better at the game and just practice. Practice makes perfect. Don't play for too long at a time. Uh, otherwise, your mind will, you know, start to get foggy and stuff. But play, you know, 20, 30 minutes at a time. We, we did fall there, but that's, I mean, look how many layers there are. We could run for literally days and days. Um, so, yeah, I mean... It, it do be crazy. So, yeah, I mean, th this is going to, this game, ba based on this map, I mean, it's going to take forever. There's still 17 players alive. The more people you have, the, the quicker the games go, like I said. So, um, but yeah, this is a great, great game if you want to just relax, because especially on maps like this, you don't have to really focus that much. You just got to run and jump. And, um, yeah, it, it's it's good vibes. Good vibes for sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could use my slowness potions, but that's not really going to do a whole lot on these bigger maps. So keep that in mind and 
yeah, just have a good time, guys. It's really about having fun and just, you know, it's it's great meditation. Like you, like this is great music listening time. Like music actually helps me run better. And uh, we have no more speed now, so we're gonna use another speed. Um, but yeah, you could always you know try to get these these blocks cleared out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, like I said, just have fun with it. Listen to music. It's a great time to vibe and just relax. I used to do a series where I I played TNT Run and just talked because it's great commentary because it doesn't take too much effort. Uh, I just fell there. But you can also, one thing, if you're trying to literally knock people into the void, which is obviously a good goal, um, you know, you got to get close to them. You got to, like, like as you, you, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying very hard to cut people off. Um, and it, it kind of depends on, on what play style you want to have. And obviously, I, I just fell there. I, I used one jump, and I'm right back. So, yeah, it seems like most people are on this bottom layer now. There's still definitely people above us, but we'll worry about that when we get there. We're going to try to cut this guy off. I think I... No, I did not get him. <clears throat> Let's see if we can melt this guy's dreams. Yeah, he, he's a solid player. He has some cosmetics going for him. Man, yep, now it's starting to get a little tougher, but there's still so many blocks above us that I'm not too, too worried about it because I have jumps to get up to those blocks above us. So, not really worried about it. And now we can go up. And we still have tons of blocks to work with here. So, yeah, this this could still be another three minutes or so before we really have a winner. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Three players left. If I get third place in every game, that'll be quite funny, actually. Oh, my. That was that was rough, man. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not looking good now. So that guy went that way. Above us. We're going to go as far as we can here. We just have two jumps left. Not ideal. We're going to run as far as we can on this platform. Two players left. We're, we're guaranteed top two. That's hype. But yeah, once it's down to two players and there's still this many blocks left, it's like, oh boy. You know? I want to know where this guy is, first of all. Where is he? I don't even see him. He has to be above me, I think. Yeah, he is. We're going to play it risky because I don't want to be here forever. And, yeah, I just fell. That's okay, though. He, he's a good player. It would have taken a while. But those are my tips, guys. I got top three every game. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care. Peace.